Thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us today. Uh, I appreciate it, Todd, anytime. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Iris and I'm a student here at SEEDS. What was your experience with school before you came to SEEDS of Literacy? Uh, I went up until the 11th grade and then I didn't go back. Number one, family, it, health issues. And then I just decided to go to a trade school uh, and I got into that, which was the medical field. Did you like school before? I did enjoy it. I did enjoy school. I didn't like the school I was attending, but I did enjoy school. If you don't mind me asking, what were some of those barriers that prevented you from graduating school when you were, when you were attending? Number one um, was some of the subjects. <laughs> some of the subjects were scaring me. I wasn't doing well with them. And uh, according to my report card, I saw that I wasn't getting nowhere. And I just found a job and I got used to that job, but without a high school education, I wasn't gonna get nowhere. So many people are hesitant to come back to school, especially having been gone for so long. What inspired you to come back? Number one, my children. They said, mommy, you could do this. And my husband a big supporter of me. He just texted me and wished me good luck. I guess as I got older, I felt more comfortable, not so much uh, competition. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel great being here. I feel comfortable. And you said competition. What do you mean by competition? Like competition uh, with who? Sometimes in high school, it could be a little bit competitive so that you don't fall into the wrong, wrong crowd. That's one reason I got out. I've no, I don't think I've ever heard someone say competitive. Yes. It's not no longer competitive. I don't think I've ever heard someone say that. That's, mm -hmm. that's very interesting. To you, what is the most important thing that you're looking for in a classroom? Number one, I believe it's the employees, the teachers, uh, the instructors. Number two, the tutors. I believe they have to have the patience mm. because some of us learn slower than other ones, and especially with math. It's just, I feel more comfortable. Cause you're, you're here all the time, I feel like. Yes, right. I get off of work, I'm here at nine o'clock in the morning, and when I finish my second class here in the afternoon, then I go to work. It's, it's what I wanna do, yes, it catches up to you. I'm tired, <laughs> I was gonna say. I'm tired, but I wanna finish this. Yeah. I want to finish this. And everyone here says, I, you could do it. You could do it, so. You're an STNA now. Um, do you want to stay in the medical field? Yes, I am. Uh, I got offered a position at a major hospital here in Cleveland. They said the job is waiting for you. You just get that done, take your time, and we're going to be here for you. That's fantastic. Yes. I didn't yes. know that. I love the medical field, so. That's great. I did not know that. If you could describe the atmosphere of SEEDS, what's the, what's the atmosphere like here? The atmosphere is great. Um, you walk in in the morning, could be Monday morning, which a lot of people don't like Monday mornings. Everyone has a smile on their face. Everything that's supposed to be done that day just gets done. Uh, and part of that, obviously, is working with a tutor. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with a tutor, especially as opposed to being in a classroom, like a K through 12 classroom, uh, having that one-to-one -one personalized time? What's that like? A hundred percent better. A hundred percent better. They're focused just on you. They are so patient and it's like they come in looking for you. Everyone goes through ups and downs, of course. What has kept you motivated coming to class? Again, my family, because they're pushing me, they're calling me. Uh, they get excited every time I pass uh, one of the, the tests. Uh, oh, mommy, we're so excited for you. And, and like I said, for me too, and my future, that's what keeps me motivated. And I could do this, I, I could do this. That phrase right there, you can do this, that makes it sound like you have a very, not only a positive outlook, but like, do you feel differently about yourself having started coming here? Yes. Yes, I do. How is that? When uh, my job that's waiting for me asked me to go finish getting your GED, 
We're going to wait for you. I called a lot of places. I couldn't afford it. So I cut my hours back from work to attend here. And I went down the street and something just told me, go in there or call them. Call them. And from then on, that's I called and this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. It's like I was meant to be here. I think so too. Yeah. When did you join us? April. The In mid, April. The okay. middle of April. I was going to say, it wasn't that long ago. The middle of April. And I've finished already three of my classes and I have one more to go. What would you say to someone who's worried about starting up back at their, getting their GED? Oh, I definitely would tell them do it. You could fix your schedule, no matter how busy your schedule it sees works with you. Um, do it, do it, because there's so many different things out here now that were not going on when I was going to school. So you're learning new things, you, a lot of new things. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to take the GED? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Uh -huh. Just call seeds. If this is what you want to do, if you want to get your GED, whether you went into the ninth, you finished the ninth, you finished the tenth, the eleventh, or then finished the twelfth grade, this is the place to do it. Do you feel like the things you have learned here at Seeds uh, has that empowered you outside of the classroom, elsewhere in your life? Yes, it has. I talked to my kids more about things I didn't talk to them before like we went I took my grandkids with the fossils and in, in science the fossils and science. I didn't know nothing about that I didn't know rock turns or you know into fossils and we went to a cave and we I, I was explaining to my grandkids this is what this is uh, and this is how this rock turns I'm, the trees and everything I didn't know none of that I didn't know none of that stuff. It's, um, and I could help them more, too, on a lot of little things they do. It sounds like you're talking about being empowered. It sounds like you're empowered in your life now. I am. I am. I truly am. So beyond uh, just this job uh, that's waiting for you, is there anything else uh, you're looking forward to doing with this in your life? Yes, help uh, people with what I've learned here. I'm a helper. I like to help people out. That I mean, that's in my nature. I, whatever I could do to help people, I would do it. This was fantastic. Thank you so much for talking with us. I appreciate it. I had a great time.